My Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribes of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Moray Yeshu Ben Yure Israel, and we just want to say thank you. Thank you for your subscriptions. Thank you for your likes, your comments, and thank you also for your prayers. And we're still in um, Psalm 10. And um, in the last session, we were in verse um, 12, and uh, we did not quite um, complete the verse um, in the studies. So we want to look at, look at the verse again in verse 12. It said, Arise, O Yahuwah, O Elohim. It said, Lift up thine hand, forget not the humble. All right, and I look at the word hand there because the word hand is a, a very, um, very important key word. Yahuwah's hand. Yeah, the psalmist here is asking Yahuwah to lift, lift up his hand. Okay? And just don't forget the poor. Lift, lift up thine hand and don't forget the poor. Uh, the word hand here is the word, the, the Hebrew word yard, 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 yod and dalet. And um, the word here is, is, is basically the part of speech is, um, is a noun and, and, as, and is in the feminine gender. I don't know why it's placed in the feminine gender, but that's what they said. And the transliteration is yard, yard. And the spelling, the phonetic spelling is like saying Y-A-W-D, yard. And um, it means hand. The word means hand. And um, the origin is, is, you know, the primary root. And by definition of the word, is, it is amounts to hand and hand can can do a lot of things it's an exhaustive study and this you know bridge studies here is it because it can abandon it can able the word hand here is in, in, in dealing with Yahuwah is is able is able my brother's addition is, is you know is affordable you can do it you know lift up your hands and you know so you can lift his hand for or against, for or against, like, um, you know, against, or you can, you know, for allegiance, you know, along, uh, alongside, uh, his arm is around to assist, assuredly, authority, actual bank, banks. Because, become, beside. Um, so, it's, you know, it's like asking you yeah, to stand and, and to walk alongside us, beside us, okay? Um, boldly, to border your hands, you know, has to deal with, you know, bounty, you know, in, in giving, you know, giving to us care. He is in charge, my brothers and my sisters. In the course is command. You know, consecrate. He controls. Courage. Death. Custody. And um, delivered. By his arm, his strong arm, his power. Deserve the direction. You know, he can do it. He encourages. He gives us enough, my brother. <laughs> you know, entrust, entrusted. You know, his face, fierce. Um, guarantor. 
because the word is used in a great variety of application. And uh, to have, you know, the, the, help, the helpless. You know, um, when you talk dealing with his hands, it's talk about influence, power, labor. And you have leadership. You have uh, courage. Means much. He is able. As one is able. Next, the occasion is ordained. You know, he pledge possession possesses. He prepared, reached, and so on. Representative is ruled. Um, service. And so, um, my brother, is, 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 is um, such, such great variety of application with that word. Okay. Look in, in, um, in verse 13. I want to look in verse 13 with me. He said, Wherefore doth the wicked contend, Yahweh, our Elohim? He has said in his heart, Thou wilt not require it. Wherefore doth the wicked contend, Yahweh, our Elohim? He has said in his heart, Thou will not require it. Um, I, I want to look at the word contend. Contend. There. Yeah. Because this word, my brothers and sisters, is, is a word where, you know, is like the one to challenge. You have the idea of, you know, the connotation of challenge. Um, the word is not to spurn at, uh, to, to treat with contempt. And this is what the enemy does. You know, he, he, he scoff, they're trying to scoff at Yahuwah. You know, the word neat, uh, lo, 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 it, it is non. Aleph and uh, Nun Aleph and uh, Pe uh, Nun Aleph and Pe it, it has the R R R R R Nun Aleph and Sadie, Sadie, and um, is a part of speech. Neats, Neats, and Naats, Naats to spurn at, to treat with contempt. Uh, in the exhausted concordance, the, the, the word um, also. Uh, is a primary root, and the definition is to spurn at or to treat with contempt. Blaspheme, uh, you know, you know, blaspheme or to despise or to dis to be dis to be despised, given, reject, spurns, you know, and and this is what the the, the wicked person does, the enemy, you know. He, 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 he tried to despise those that are walking with Yahuwah, you know. And, um, you know, he wanted to blast him against Yahuwah and so on. But based on, on his word, my brothers and sisters, based on his word, he's not going to be su successful. He is not going to be successful in, in his plan. 
All right, look in verse 14. He said, Thou hast seen it, for thou beholdest mischief and spite um, to, re to requite uh, it with thy hand. The poor committeth himself. The poor committeth himself unto thee. Thou art the helper of the fatherless. So, here we see in verse um, 14 is that Yahuwah is, has seen it. The, 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 you know, the psalmist is saying that you know, you have seen it. Thou has seen it. For thou beholdest the mischief and the spite the, the, you know, the mischief and the spite of, 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 of the enemy. And, and, and Yahuwah, no, he, 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 he's not sleeping. He can tell, he can see. And here the psalmist is, is, is full of assurance. Because if the, if the poor committed himself uh, uh, and trust his, his life into Yahuwah's hand, then he know for sure, the psalmist know for sure that Yahuwah is not going to let him down. He said, the poor committed himself unto thee and then he's, he reminds the other said that thou are, you are the helper of the fatherless. The enemy is not going to help. The enemy is not going to do anything good. Nothing positive, my brothers and sisters. And when he does something that you think is positive, he's all he's doing is trying to bring you in. Try to bring you into his net. He said, the poor committed themselves. The poor and needy committed themselves. They entrusted themselves, they entrusted their lives to Yahuwah. And then he said, you are Yahuwah are the helper The helper of the fatherless. Praise his holy name. My brothers and sisters, if you are fatherless, just remember to trust in Yahuwah. He promises that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is your helper. In verse 15, he said, Break thou the arm of the wicked. And the evil man seek out his wickedness till thou hast found none. So break. I want us to look at the word break there. Break is shaba. To break, break in pieces. To break or to break in pieces. And the word is shin, bet, and resh, shabar. And um, what, what the word is saying here uh, is, is, is to, to break in pieces. The original word, the, origin, the, uh, the primary original root of the word is exactly what is said here, to break in pieces. And to abolish, to break, break down, breaking in pieces, to break, you know, to, to, um, to break in 
pieces, my brothers and sisters, to bring to the point being broken, broke in pieces, broke in the, the, the broke in pieces, broken down, broken off. We, 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 from the same, same word, we have broken hearted, collapse, crush, to demolish, to destroy, you know, to fracture, to hurt, to injure. Um, the place to, is a point, a point of birth, uh, quench, shatter, smashed, to tore down, to, to be torn. And so my brothers and my sisters, it, 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 it is important for us to see that, it is important for us to see that Yahuwah, is able and is standing on our side, by our side, and always going to remember, you know, that we have committed ourselves to Him, and that He's not going to let us down. I, I want us to look, look, look. Um, um, and the word. There's another key word there. Evil. The word evil is Rasha. Rasha and um, Rasha, and then look, look, Rasha is wickedness, wickedness, it is the word Rasha. Come, is the, the Hebrew word is resh, shin, and ayin. And um, the part of speech is known and is a masculine gender. Transliterated word is resha or resha. And definition wickedness. Wrong. From the same as Rasha. And the word wicked here, Ill, Ill gotten, wicked, wicked act, wickedness. That's the word there. If you see, he said, um, Break thou the arm of the wicked and the evil man. He says, seek out his wickedness. He says, seek out his wickedness till thou find none. <laughs> that means uh, dismantle his wicked deeds. And in verse 16, he said, uh, Yahuwah is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. Yahuwah is king forever and ever. The heathen are perished out of his land. And um, we, we're going to stop here because if we continue, we're going to go over over um, the time because um, the, we have um, three key words that we need to look at there. And, uh, and, and so we're going to take over a period of time. And they, these are ex exhausted um, lists, okay, uh, that has a variety of um, applications, and so we want to stop here and we'll come back so we have more time to deal with it. So my brothers and my sisters, we're going to ask you to 
be a blessing today to someone. And we're going to ask that you walk with the king. Shalom.